Hello everyone and welcome to the varsity volleyball match between the visiting Wakefield Warriors and the host West Potomac Wolverines. Senior Lindsay Cullen from the Wolverines started the match off with a serve and we are quickly into an extended rally. And that point found the baseline so point for Wakefield and Heidi Battress will be back to serve for the Warriors. Early in the season for both teams. West Potomac has won its first two matches. Wakefield comes into tonight's match having only won one out of the first three. But they've won at least one set in each match. And they took um, their first opponent, which they lost, but they went all five sets to decide it. Kaya Flew with a great effort uh, on that point, but comes up short and the point for West Potomac. Good returns from the Wolverines. Uh, Wakefield able to handle them. And Haley Finley will now serve for Wakefield. Great effort. Great effort by West Potomac. Extends the rally and eventually they win the point. And now we'll get a serve from Annika Munson, one of the freshmen on the West Potomac team. The rally. Both teams showing good ball control, good touches. Took it on the one ball. So West Potomac looks like they've got a, uh, a height advantage, and we'll see if they're able to use that to score points at the net. So Munson back to serve once again for the Wolverines. Point goes to Wakefield. Great save by Aubrey Gibson uh, during the exchange, but the point ended up going to the Warriors. And that finds a gap in the defense, a point for West Potomac. And we'll get a serve from Isabel Parkins. Their sophomore on this relatively young West Potomac Wolverine team. All right, so another point for the Wolverines. Parkins back to serve again. The block at the net is successful. Wakefield was able to respond and pick up a point. And now it's Devin Finley serving for the Warriors, and she has a miss serve. You know, uh, both teams look like they're warmed up well, but serving can be one of those things that might be hard to warm up uh, adequately before the game. So both teams have had a little bit of inconsistency on serve. And again, West Potomac using the, perhaps using his height advantage, playing well at the net. And that is one of the freshmen, Olivia Blonde and the Libro with a serve. Miss serve turns it over to Jenna Alcorn for the Warriors. And Alcorn has a point for her team. Another good serve from Alcorn. But point for West Potomac. Ashlyn Hendricks, one of the juniors. Serving for the Wolverines. And that long drive, long return, finds the inside part of the baseline, so it's a point for Wakefield. And Tiara Jones serving for Wakefield. Turn goes to the back part of the court. Westfield is able to respond, and they find an opening. 
point for the Wolverines. Lindsey Cullen back to serve. Wakefield's able to respond. The rally continues. Nice touch at the net. And point for the Wakefield Warriors. So Heidi Batras back to serve again. Very close first set between these two teams. We've already seen terrific volleyball tonight from the freshman match. And that was followed by the JV match. All right, with Aubrey Gibson back to serve again for the Wolverines. Goes to the front part of the court. And Wakefield unable to uh, find the handle. So we're going to serve from Gibson. Unable to find a handle on that. Kaya Fluitt puts into the net and another point for the Wolverines. Another serve from Gibson. Nice finesse at the net from the Warriors. A couple point and the serve goes back to Haley Finley. All right, Annika Munson. One of three freshmen on the varsity team. Set from Batras. And Brianna Alexander tried to show a little power there, but it came up short. Get a touch at the net. West Denver not able to handle a point for the Warriors, and now Brianna Alexander will serve. Alexander serves well, and Wakefield has picked up a point. Gibson has been doing a good job of getting that first touch coming from the back court, the mid court, for these shorter serves. And that'll be a point for West Potomac. And Isabel Parkins serving again. The block at the net, the rally continues. Here comes the, the set from Wakefield. And it goes long, but a point to West Potomac. I think there were four touches on earlier in that exchange. Devin Finley serving for the Warriors. And the point for Wakefield. So Wakefield closing the gap. Another serve from Finley. Finley on her has a team on a roll. Once again, Gibson coming from the back court to the mid court to make the save, but they can't make the correct set, so. Finley serves the back part of the court. And a return goes in the net, so Wakefield on a bit of a roll here. The Wolverines jump down to an early lead, Wakefield goes to gap, and we'll go to a timeout. We are back, Finley still serving for the Warriors. Good power, but Wakefield's able to respond. And now Olivia Blondin serving for West Potomac. Block at the net, comes up short, and Wakefield with a terrific effort. And Kaya flew it, comes up short, but able to extend the rally. And that finds the inside of the back court. So point for the Warriors. Jen Alcorn serving. And good power from the Wolverines. Coach Nancy Nixon applauding her team right there. 
And back to serve for West Potomac. A save from Jenna Alcorn, but unable to make the set. So now West Potomac has some momentum. Serve goes to midcourt. Wakefield with a set. And good power from Wakefield. Parkins couldn't come up with a handle on that one. And Tiara Jones will serve for Wakefield. And that comes up a little short, so a point for West Potomac. Neither team giving up any cheap points. These are well-earned points. Good exchanges so far in the match. That one finds a seam in the defense. Wakefield picks up a point. Coming back to close the gap. And Heidi Batras is back to serve again. Little touch at the net, the block worked. But the point eventually goes to Wakefield. And we'll take another timeout. We are back. Batris is serving. She sends it to midcourt. Blondin makes the set. A little touch over the net is enough. Wakefield can't come up with the handle, so. West Potomac gets the serve back, and Gibson is back to serve. Good spin on the serve, but Wakefield's able to find the return. There's a battle at the net. The rally's extended. Here's a set. The first set goes to West Potomac. Second set, Wakefield started off by serving, and the first point goes to Wolverines. And that looked long, so, uh, and was long. And uh, we'll get a point for Wakefield. So we're tied up now in the second set. We have power return from the Wolverines, but it goes long. They've been winning more of the battles at the net. So far, West Potomac's having a little trouble finding the back baseline. So we get a soft midcourt, front court serve from Haley Finley. Wakefield's able to make the first touch, but unable to complete the return. So. Clearly went to West Potomac. Wakefield only able to come up with the block to a point for the Wolverines. That was wide, 
So point for Wakefield. Devin Finley now is serving on that last point. She correctly judged it was going to fall outside the line and just let it drop. And that one again goes long. So uh, West Potomac is having a little bit of trouble on their power returns finding the back baseline. Point for Wakefield. And another serve from Devin Finley. The return comes up short. The Warriors push it to a four point lead and we have a timeout on the court. And we are back. West Potomac unable to get it over the net. Point for the Warriors. This serve from Devin Finley coming up. And again, good power for West Potomac, but unable to find the back baseline, so a point for the Warriors. Terrific touch at the net, but Wakefield able to respond. A great effort from Ash and Hendricks, but it comes up a little short. Both teams leaving nothing on the court. They came to play. Devin Finley serving now has her team on a roll. Another extended rally, we've seen so many in the match. Blocked by West Potomac, finally wins a long point. Warriors had a long run and now West Potomac will get served back. And Isabel Parkins in the serve. So the Warriors back up to nine point edge. Good save by Devin Finley during that point and eventually it went to the Warriors. So West Potomac has been doing a good job in the match of showing power at the net, but they haven't been able to consistently find the back baseline and keep it in bounds. Great finesse at the net from West Potomac, pick up the point. And now they're back to be trailing by eight. Olivia Blondin serving for the Wolverines. The team's down by eight, but they took the, took the first set. Unless Potomac can't come up with the block point for the Warriors. And Tiara Jones will be back to serve. Jones, one of six seniors on the Warrior team.
Another extended rally. Both teams moving well off ball, making it hard to find a gap in the defense. And that return from the Warriors goes long. So West Potomac is able to cut the lead to eight again in the second set. We'll get a serve from Ashlyn Hendricks. And the block of the net comes up short, so Wakefield back up by nine. And it'll be he Heidi Battress back to serve. Battress goes to the mid part of the court. West Potomac able to respond. Wakefield extends the rally. And that one is long. So Wakefield showing some power at the net, but. And we are back to Lindsay Cullen serving for the Wolverines. Brianna Alexander will touch over the net. West Tumic makes a return, but it goes wide. Point Wakefield. And Haley Finley serving for Wakefield. Another point for the Warriors. Block came up short and good power from the Warriors. So Haley Finley will serve again. effort from Ashton Hendricks. She's been showing great effort the whole match, but that one came up short. And the set was a little low and they couldn't make a good return off of it. And we'll take a timeout on the court. West Swimmick wants to talk it over. Second set, Wakefield is up 20 to eight. Biggest gap, biggest lead they've had of the second set. Biggest lead either team has had during the match. And we're quickly into another extended rally. We've had so many in the match so far. Both teams having to fight hard to win every point. Alexander's return goes long. And Wakefield loses the serve and uh, West Potomac comes back uh, with within 11 points. And Aubrey Gibson will serve. That power return from Brian Alexander finds the court and wins the point. 21 to nine now. And Tiara Jones will come back in. Kyla Fluitt will sit, take a rest. And we'll have Brianna Alexander serving. She has made some big plays at the net. In this second set, Alexander coming up big at the net. So Beardsley makes the return. West Potomac responds, a little touch battle at the net and the point goes to West Potomac. So they cut the gap back to 11. As they're trying to rally and take the second set. And we have another 
another serve from Annika Munson. Munson gets a point for her team and she will keep serving. Good dig from Haley Finley. But the return comes up short. Munson to serve. The gap is now nine points. Another good dig from Haley Finley. But Beasley can't make complete the return, so West Potomac climbing back into this set. They fell back by 12. They're now only trailing by eight. And Munson with a serve to the front of the court. Wakefield able to come up with a return. They play it off the net. But power at the net wins the point for the Wolverines. Timeout, Wakefield. They want to talk it over. We're back. Munson has her team on the roll. And that one goes long. With a point for the Wolverines. They've cut the gap in half while Annika Munson has been serving. And that power turn finds the baseline. So we're now only down by five. There's only a five point gap. And Annika Munson, when they gave her the ball to serve when her team was down by 11, and now they're down by four. And that's out, make that three. Big rally by the Wolverines, timeout Wakefield. West Potomac took the first set, fell back by 12, 21 to nine. And they just ran off a long run to close the gap to four points. And, but Wakefield's won two quick points now. And with Devin Finley serving, serve goes to mid court. Another point for Wiggle, so we are at set point. Great rally by the Wolverines, but now Wakefield is looking to close out the set, and that will do it. We're tied, one set apiece. We are back for the third set. Lindsey Collins serving for the Wolverines. And these two teams Evenly matched so far, right back into it. First point goes to the Wolverines. We're tied one set apiece. We're gonna serve from Cullen now. Another point for the Wolverines. falls wide. Kaya flew it with the return. Didn't have her usual control and so three straight points here for West Potomac. Make that four. So in the early going in the third set, West Potomac is on a run.
So the question right now is, is anyone else going to serve in this set besides Lindsay Cohen? Uh, she started off this set, and her team has picked up five quick points. Our return goes long, so make that six straight points for the Wolverines, but the serve is long. So Wakefield picks up a point, gets the serve. We're tied at one set apiece. Heidi Battress will be serving for Wakefield. A little finesse at the net. Great extension from Olivia Blondin to extend the rally. And Wakefield plays it off the net. The rally continues. And that return they're going to call the point for Wakefield. Heidi Batches will be back to serve again. And Wakefield attempt to block at the net comes up short. And a point for the Wolverines. So we get a quick substitution for the Wolverines. And they pick up another point. Now they're up eight to two. And it's Aubrey Gibson serving for West Potomac. Terrific effort from Becca Jenny. And the rally continues. We've had so many terrific points, long rallies in this match so far, and this is no exception. Again, Rebecca Jenny keeps the rally going. Great moving off ball from both teams. And the point eventually goes to Wakefield, but both teams showed some brilliant volleyball on that long, long point. So Haley Finley will, will serve for Wakefield. for the Wolverines, gets Annika Munson in to serve. <laughs> Terrific effort from Aubrey Gibson. Almost a, a somersault, but can't come up with the save. Substitution and Brianna Alexander will come in to serve as Wakefield works through its rotation, trailing nine to four in the third set. Make that ten to four. West Potomac power at the net finds a gap in the defense. And Isabel Parkins will be back to serve for the Wolverines. Aubrey Gibson, full out effort, comes up short. Wakefield picks up a point, they trail by five, and Devin Finley is in to serve. And serves very well. 
Lakefield down by four. Finley to serve. Wolverines handle this one. And the return, however, goes long. There's no point for Wakefield. Another serve from Finley. And the set was off the mark. So Wakefield, they fell behind by six. They've cut the gap to two. Finley with a serve to midcourt. The set is handled. The rally continues. And we're down by, Wakefield's only down by one point. We're down to one point set. For the Wolverines, Olivia Blondin, one of the freshmen on the team, serving for West Potomac. And West Potomac wins the battle at the net, but key to that point was a save earlier in the exchange by Lindsey Cullen. And we'll get another serve from Blondin. And that falls out. So West Potomac pushes it back up to a four point edge. A little finesse of the net, but the return went wide. And that return from Kaya Fluitt, a little bit off. You can see there we have a, a large group of West Potomac students who have been here all match, standing together and cheering their team on. Good crowd for both sides tonight. Good crowd tonight. Another point for West Potomac there. Up by seven, their biggest lead of the set. And Blondin serving well and has her team on a roll. Great job to try to extend the rally there, West Potomac, with the power from Tiara Jones. Too much to handle. And we will get a serve from Zoe Beardsley. And Beardsley will serve again. Wakefield closed the gap within five. All out effort from Maddie Day comes up short, point for the Warriors. Point for West Potomac. We're back up by five. In the first couple of sets, West Potomac was having some trouble finding, keeping the ball within the back baseline, but they've been on target this set. And they're up by five as we get a substitution. Annika Munson comes into the match for the Wolverines. Serve goes long. So Tiara Jones now serving for Wakefield. And Wakefield can't find the handle. back up by five. And they fire off an ace. They got a six point lead for the Wolverines. As Lindsay Cullen, she served several points off serve in the match tonight, but that, a rare miss serve for Cullen. Wakefield gets the serve back. And Heidi Battress serving for the Warriors. We're trail by five. We're tied at one set apiece. And now they trail by four as they can't handle the serve from Battress. Block at the net. 
Brianna Alexander coming up big at the net in the match tonight. And she would cut the gap to three, and Batchers will be back for another serve. Wakefield able to handle the return. That was a set from Blonde, and, but the return falls short. It's only a two point set now, and Batchers will serve again. A very high set, a little touch over the net. Sort of a quiet, quiet bit of, a, of an exchange there between the two teams. Change of pace, they both showing a lot of power tonight. We'll take an official timeout. Heidi Batchers is serving, her team is down by one. She's rallied her team behind her serve. Power at the net. Isabel Parkins. Sends the point home and gets the Wolverines back up the two point lead and now Aubrey Gibson will be serving. Wakefield plays it off the net. The rally extends. Parkins with a great dig to keep it going and with a little help from the net. Westpo ends up with the point. West coming up by three. Parkin, Gibson back to serve. Point for the Wolverines. Gibson has a team on a roll. They're back up to a four point edge. Trying to take this third set. The serve from Gibson. And a touch, a reach over the net works. Timeout, Wakefield. Another serve from Gibson. And the serve goes long, so Wakefield picks up a point. Gets the serve back, but the Wolverines are now only two points away from claiming this third set. And grabbing a two to one lead in the match. Power at the net, Wakefield responds. And there's a point for the Wakefield. They win the battle at the net. And Haley Finley, one of the seniors for Wakefield. They've got six seniors on this team. Serves with their team trailing by three. The block at the net, Brianna Alexander and Devin Finley. The block works. Wakefield coming up big at the net. We'll have a timeout. Haley Finley serving, and a miss serve, a rare miss serve for either team tonight. So we are moved to set point. Annika Munson trying to serve to win the set for the Wolverines. Wakefield handles the serve, the block at the net. Wakefield's able to keep it going. And the power return goes long. So Wakefield fights off the first set point. If they want to win this set, they're going to have to fight off two more at least. And Brianna Alexander serves and the Wolverines usually playing very confidently, very well at the net mishandled that close action at the net. So Wakefield rallying and we'll take another timeout. West Potomac trying to win the second 
their second set of the match. Whitefield has faced two set points and fought off both. And we are in another extended rally. And a little finesse goes wide. So we have tied the, we've tied the set. We have a tied set. Brianna Alexander will keep serving. She's got her team rallying from three back to a tie. Little touch at the net. Here's the set from West Potomac. The block. Tiara Jones and Devin Finley blocked at the net. Point for the Warriors. So now the Warriors have a set point. They fought off three set points. And the power return goes long. Wakefield wins the set. They're up two to one. Back for the fourth set. Heidi Batch is serving for the Warriors. Warriors up two to one, a very close, very well played match, very evenly played match. 25, 26-24 was the uh, score in the last set. And the Wolverines jump out to a one point lead, make that a two point lead. Varsity Volleyball, they play three out of five. West Potomac wants to win this set and extend the match. And Lindsey Cullen, one of their three seniors, serving, but it's a missed serve, and uh, Wakefield will get the serve back, pick up their first point of the set. Terrific volleyball match we've seen tonight. And with Haley Finley serving for the Warriors, the point will go to West Potomac. Somebody has won a number of points tonight by showing some finesse to the net and finding that gap in the Wakefield defense. And now Aubrey Gibson will be back to serve for the Wolverines. And they pick up another point, so they're up four to one here. West Potomac wins this set, we go to a fifth set. If Wakefield wins this set, they've won the match. Gibson to serve. And she serves up an ace. They went to midcourt and Wakefield couldn't catch up with it. So with a five to one edge and Gibson serving, Wolverines are on a roll. Wakefield handles this serve. And Zoe Beardsley finds a gap in the defense. Lindsey Cullen made a great effort for the save, couldn't come up with it. And it's a 5-2 set right now. And Brianna Alexander, who's had a lot of great plays at the net, blocking and showing uh, power with the returns, is now in serving for the Warriors. And I don't quite know what happened there. Uh, not a very uh, hard hit return. Maybe some miscommunication, which has been rare tonight for either team. But it just dropped in. And there's another point for Wakefield. So Wakefield has pulled within one point in this fourth set. Another good rally. The teams, good ball control, and West Virginia couldn't come up with the point, so 
Can come up with a return. We are tied at five. Another great rally. And again, soft touch at the net comes up big for the Warriors. And they'll pick up a lead here in the fourth set. And Brianna Alexander will be serving. And point forward, back to a tie, and Annika Munson serving for West Potomac. So Wakefield wins the point, grabs the lead, and Devin Finley is back to serve for the Warriors. And we sort out the substitutions and back to the action. Another good exchange. Block at the net works for Wakefield. Tara Jones and Heidi Battress. And Wakefield's up by two. Another serve from Devin Finley. Another point for the Warriors. Finley to serve. Tiara Jones with a block at the net. Wakefield up by four. Finley has her team on a roll here in the fourth set. And this time it's Laura Aaron with the block at the net for the Wolverines. One of the seniors for the Wolverines coming up big at the net. West Potomac trailing by three. Isabel Parkins to serve. And that is a little long. Couldn't find the baseline. Point goes to Wakefield. Earlier in the exchange, great dig from uh, Haley Finley. And Zoe Beardsley serves for the Warriors, sends it to the front of the court. West Potomac able to handle it. And that will go long. So a point for West Potomac. And Olivia Blondin comes back into the match. And she will serve. And Emily Mang also came in the match. Blonde into serve. Wolverines down by three. And the point is going to go to the Wakefield Warriors. Brianna Alexander back in for Wakefield. And back up on their front line where she has been very effective tonight. Tiara Jones to serve, miss serve, point for West Potomac. They're back within three. And Ashlyn Hendricks serving for the Wolverines. Block at the net. Wakefield comes up with it. Terrific effort, great save by 
Uh, Haley Finley in that exchange, and they pick up the point eventually. And Heidi Battress is back to serve for Wakefield. A set from Battress. The return handled by West Potomac. And the exchange continues. Great effort from Kaya Fluitt and everybody else on the Wakefield side to keep it going. Another great effort from Lindsey Cullen to keep it going for West Potomac. And Brianna Alexander finds the court. Alexander having a great night at the net between the blocks and the returns. And now Wakefield is up by five. Batchers to serve. Goes to midcourt. And a point for West Potomac. The return kept it in the baseline and they're now down by four. And we are back to Lindsey Collins ser serving for the Wolverines. Point for Wakefield. Both teams scoring points with precision returns. Finding gaps in the defense here in the fourth set. And Haley Finley serving for Wakefield. Another point for the Warriors. They're up by six. Wakefield is up two sets to one, but it has been a very even match throughout. Both teams showing a lot of great teamwork, great ball control. And there's a point for Wakefield. They're up by seven. Haley Finley serving. And a point for the Wolverines. Great net play by Annika Munson. And Emily Mang will take a rest from the game. Aubrey Gibson comes in for her and serves. Play returns from both sides, but the defense finds a way to return it. So West Potomac now picks up a point. Gibson serves again, but a miss serve from Gibson. And we're back to a six point Wakefield advantage with Brianna Alexander serving for the Warriors. And Wakefield, a little trouble on the return. Point for the Wolverines. And Munson to serve for West Potomac. The Wolverines using their height at the net very effectively tonight. Wakefield scrambled to respond. And that finds a seam. Good return from Laura Aaron. And they close the gap to four. So West Potomac charging back. They trail two sets to one. And they trail by four points in this fourth set. Serve to midcourt. And that return is wide, so a point for the Warriors.
Devin Finley serving for Wakefield. And uh, into the net, so a point for the Wolverines, and they're only trailing by four as they fight their way back into it. And we're going to serve from Isabel Parkins. The block at the net. Laura Aaron and Ashlyn Hendricks came up big at the net. And a point for the Wolverines. Timeout. West Potomac. They want to talk about it. back little touch at the net power from Tiara Jones and a point for the Warriors and you can hear the West Potomac student cheering section trying to rally their team as Zoe Barrett says serves for the Wakefield Warriors Good power from West Poe, but Wakefield able to respond. The rally continues. And West Potomac wants a timeout to talk it over. With a serve from Beardsley, we are underway after the timeout. Tremendous effort by West Potomac, but they come up short on the return, and Wakefield is two points away from winning the match. And a point for the Wolverines. Quick substitution, Laura Aaron steps out. Olivia Blondin returns to serve. And as she's done all game, Maddie Day with a terrific effort. But this time she can't quite come up with it. And we are at match point. Tiara Jones serving for Wakefield. Tiara sends it to the mid, mid of the court, middle of the court. Little touch and a point. So West Potomac fights off the first match point. Showing some finesse at the net. Quick substitution. Annika Munson back in. Ashlyn Hendricks played very well from the back line, particularly tonight. Serving for West Potomac. And another point for the Wolverines. So the Wolverines getting back into it. They're now only down by six. They need to win the set to extend the match. Ashton Hendricks back to serve for West Potomac. Push over from Wakefield. A little touch return. The block works. Wakefield responds. Another set. A little finesse of the net wins the match for Wakefield. Terrific volleyball from both sides. Wakefield wins it 3-1. to one. 